You know this weird yellow drink you keep seeing me sip on in the early morning hours? It's the first thing I drink every morning. It is a religious part of my morning routine. It's one of the things that's helped me the most in healing my thyroid, my hormones, my metabolism. It makes me feel freaking amazing, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. Hi y'all, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Molly Mason. I'm a holistic nutritionist, and I'm here to help you stop fighting the war with your body so you can show up for your brightest life. Today we are talking all the what's, how's, why's, and when's of the adrenal cocktail. You've seen me drinking this in my recent what I eat in a day videos. You've been asking a lot of what the heck is that questions. So I figured this beautiful concoction deserves its very own video and today we're gonna break it all down. Okay, the first question here, what is an adrenal cocktail? The simple answer is it's a mixture of ingredients that are focused on replacing and replenishing the nutrients and minerals that are lost to metabolic and adrenal stress. So your adrenal glands are tiny little glands that sit on the top of your kidneys and they produce your adrenal hormones, your stress hormones. Now it's important to note that stress doesn't just mean what you and I might think of stress as in stressing about a work deadline. Stress to our bodies is everything from poor sleep, hard workouts, dieting, not getting enough nutrients, lacking in certain nutrients, imbalanced blood sugars throughout the day, wacky hormones, and underactive thyroid. Even just detoxing all the thousands of toxins that you're exposed to in your environment on a daily basis. All of these things cause our adrenal glands to work and therefore it depletes a certain set of nutrients and minerals. You can find lots of different recipes. A lot of people will approach this in different ways, but all adrenal cocktails have three main components. The first is whole food vitamin C. Up to 90% of your body's vitamin C is stored inside your adrenal glands because they use it to create your stress hormones. So when we're in seasons of high emotional stress, when we have disease or illness that causes imbalance in our hormones, or if we have been dieting our entire lives and starving our body of the nutrients that it needs, all of these things cause our adrenal glands to secrete these hormones and they completely deplete our vitamin C stores. The second component is a really important balance of minerals like sodium and potassium. Every single cellular operation that happens in your body requires minerals. Stress majorly depletes sodium in the body. Sodium is also necessary for our body to absorb magnesium, which is crazy depleted. Minerals are so fascinating because more than the actual levels of minerals in your body, the balance and the ratios of the minerals is the most important thing. So an adrenal cocktail is designed to supply the body with these minerals that unfortunately our food and diet are often lacking or even if we're getting them in other sources in seasons of stress, it's a really easy way to deliver them directly to the cells when needed. And then the third very important component is a balance of all three macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fat to keep blood sugar stable. So like I said, you'll actually find a lot of different variations of adrenal cocktail recipes some have coconut cream, some have coconut water, some even use cream of tartar as the potassium source. But after a decent amount of trial and error over the last six months, I'm gonna share with you the recipe that I have been using and loving lately. So it's eight ounces or one cup of orange juice, one ounce or two tablespoons of half and half or heavy cream, two scoops of collagen peptides, and a generous shake of sea salt. Okay, let's talk specifics on each of these. Orange juice, obviously you can squeeze your own juice, that'd be great, that is incredibly unrealistic for me to think that I'm gonna do that on a weekly basis, so that doesn't happen around here. I buy store-bought orange juice. Three important things to look for when it comes to orange juice. Number one, not from concentrate. You want real, fresh, squeezed oranges. You want the ingredients to just say, oranges. Number two, you might be surprised by this, you want pulp-free orange juice. Now this is not to say that pulp in orange juice is bad, but it has high fiber cellulose that slows down the absorption of the things in the adrenal cocktail. So it kind of just defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do of delivering these nutrients to the cells, to the adrenals. Our goal with this is to make this as bioavailable and easily digestible as possible. So go for pulp-free. Third thing is you want no added fortified vitamins, calcium, any of that junk. That stuff is artificial and unnecessary necessary and we don't need it and maybe I should have said four things but always go for organic when you can. I've told you guys before it's not like everything that comes through my kitchen is organic but for something that I'm drinking on a daily basis this is important to me. Okay for the cream Anytime we're talking dairy, it really is important to go for grass-fed or pasture-raised whenever you can. If you have access to raw milk, even better. I really like this Organic Valley one because you should be able to find this anywhere. I also get this one at Whole Foods. This is pasture-raised. They're good about no GMOs, antibiotics, toxins, 
hormones, all that good stuff. If you have a dairy issue, you can sub full fat coconut cream, although more than likely your dairy issue is not actually a dairy issue. It's leaky gut and an unhealthy metabolism. I address that in my Kill the Yeast program. Reintroducing dairy to my diet has been one of the greatest joys of my life. There ain't nothing like some real half and half. Okay, for the collagen peptides, I keep mine in this pretty glass jar on my countertop because I go for these multiple times a day. I will go ahead and link a few of my favorite trusted brands for you guys in the description box. But the important thing to look for with collagen peptides is again, grass-fed, pasture-raised. You want quality testing. You wanna know that they're actually processing the collagen properly. So I'll just link a few of my favorites for you below. And then with the sea salt, I often go for the pink Himalayan and just make sure you're getting something unrefined. You don't want any of that processed stuff. That's stripping out all the minerals, which again, just defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do here. Okay, so not only is this loaded with real sourced whole food vitamin C, lots of minerals, it's also balanced in almost 20 grams of protein from the two scoops of collagen peptides. You get the fat from the half and half, and of course the OJ provides some easily digestible carbohydrates. It's just loaded with goodness. Let me show you how I make it. Okay, so there's obviously nothing mind blowing about mixing a few simple ingredients together, but I do have a trick that I have learned and I'll show you how I do it. So first I always start with my orange juice. I like to use these tall mason jars just because they actually have the measurements on them. So I measure a cup out with these markers. Then you add your one ounce or two tablespoons of half and half. I kind of just approximate that to be honest. Now here's the trick. Let's talk about collagen peptides. If you've ever used these before, you know that they're total magic because they dissolve super easily in warm water. The problem is if you try to put them in something cold, they will clump up and get kind of nasty and no one wants to deal with that. So I've tried blending this, I've tried frothing it with a handheld frother, I've tried blending it with ice and making it like a frappuccino. This is my favorite trick. So the secret is to take another glass and you don't need much, you literally need like, mm, I mean an ounce of hot water. Warm water will do the trick. I actually heat up some Berkey water in my kettle just because I like to know that I'm getting my filtered, clean, healthy water. You just need a little bit of warm water to dissolve the two scoops of collagen into like this. You can literally just take the straw that you're gonna sip it out of and mix it up. It should dissolve super easily. And then you pour this in with the OJ and cream. Mix it up, no issues. You should have no clumping, nothing like that because the collagen's already dissolved in the hot water. It obviously does warm up the OJ just a little bit, but not too much. If your OJ and your cream came out of the fridge, it'll still be pretty cool. And then you literally just need like maybe two turns worth of sea salt, mix it up, and there you go, your adrenal cocktail. Because this does have protein, carbs, and fat, you can drink it on its own. It is not a full meal replacement, but you can have it as a snack between meals, or as you've seen from my videos, I like to drink it first thing in the morning. It is really important when you're under adrenal stress, when you're trying to heal your adrenals, heal your hormones, heal your thyroid. It is really important to eat in the morning, to replenish your glycogen stores, to give your liver what it needs so it doesn't have to secrete cortisol to get your body to make its own glucose. I like to make sure I do this within 30 minutes of waking, I like to wake up early and I like to do my movement early in the morning. So whether I'm just going on a walk or I'm going on a run or a more intense workout class, I love having this as my kind of pre-workout breakfast. It's light on the stomach, it's easy to digest, it's not like you're gonna have food sloshing around. And then after my movement, I will come home and make a real big breakfast with eggs and fruit and all the good stuff. Drinking this first thing in the morning, your liver is primed to receive it, your adrenals are hungry for the nutrients and the minerals. If you are a person who reaches for coffee first thing in the morning before you've had anything to eat, please stop. If you have any kind of thyroid hormone, adrenal, blood sugar issues, it is just not a great choice to have caffeine on an empty stomach. Have this first, have some breakfast first, and then add some caffeine in. That's why you guys see me have my matcha after my breakfast. I honestly feel like a million bucks after I drink this have my morning routine, have my workout, have my shower, have my breakfast, and then have my caffeine, I literally feel like I can conquer the world. It's the best feeling. All right, there you go, all things adrenal cocktail. I hope you love this. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend who you know needs to hear it, and if you'd like more tips for healing your metabolism, encouragement for loving your body, I've got so much more of that here on this channel. You can see my adrenal cocktail in action, in my early morning routine, in my what I eat in a day videos. I'll link my whole healthy eating playlist for you guys here if you want to 
to check out more of those videos. And of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell when you don't miss new videos. They come out on Wednesdays and I will see you next week. Cheers.